them against serious COVID-19. On the weather front, a fine Tuesday in store for Gauteng tomorrow. Joburg dropping to an overnight low of 10 degrees, peaking at 27. Pretoria 13 and 29. Free Inachin 9 and 28. Lerato Huffala, Eyewitness News. Eyewitness News on 947. For more, click ewn.co.za. or excited. Honest, deliberate, engaging, uncensored. High dosage administration can cause adverse reactions. And most importantly, independent in mind and execution. This is a normal response. Are you ready? Where are the sports worldwide? High TV upora without Robert Marawa. High sport on TV without Robert Marawa. I have a fit, I guess, who came in a personal with all due respect to the, the current um, presenters. And I got a fit without Robert Marawa, I could many things. So I, I, Paul, I, Paul, without Robert Marawa TV. Yeah, I have a poor man to you. I call. I'm a support for it. Good man. I salute. 90 games for South Africa. And he scores a fantastic try. Hendrickson appeal around. It's Quaker Smith that flies in for the Rainbow Nation. Put him a skeleton knife for the dinner. Dinner has a four cars of M108. Now we leave it. It doesn't care if we don't abandon the name. Who tells us who did you know? And it's not every day that I've got two doctors, eh, in the studio. You know, one is a medical doctor, trained to the T, and one honoured with an honorary doctorate, both in the UK and down in Cape Town. Dr. Lucas Katebe. Uh, good morning, Paul. So you're the current professor because he is a professor. <laughs> Dr. Noba Tabete. Good to see you. Welcome. Thank you, Rob. Lovely, lovely to be here. Uh, it's my first time in this beautiful studio. If you're on air, you must visit mm. this place. It's stunning. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is Robert 3.0, not even um, 2.0. Oh, wow. Thanks, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Doc. Robert Marawa, live on 947. Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Sowetan Live. Hashtag MSW. It is Reaction Mondays with FNB, a proud sponsor of the Springboks. FNB, a division of First Rand Bank Limited. Live at 947 Rise FM and Boma FM and Sowetan Live. Welcome to it. It's a Monday. Ordinary Monday. It's Reaction Monday. Hashtag MSW. Oh man, as we start Reaction Monday already, people saying they're going to be missing Makazola Mapimpi. Hi Robert, it's A.B. Muloy from Naturena. What a big blow for our Springbok team with the injury of uh, Makazola Mapimpi. We are going to miss him going forward with the games at the World Cup. Uh, we wish him uh, a speedy recovery. Hopefully they will recall uh, Lukanyo M to replace him and... 
with uh, Cape Town Spurs uh, firing uh, Sean Bartlett, the writing was already on the wall when they hire the technical director. We know with our South African teams, immediately they hire the technical director. Your job is on the line or you are already being fired. Thank you very much. AB, thank you so much indeed. Do send us your WhatsApp voice notes. Lots to react on from the weekend. But we'll give you also the latest updates coming through from the Rugby World Cup. It's kickoff time. The mighty box. Take on the world. He's got one already and he's going to get another. The Rugby World Cup. All the news. All the views. Springboks with a penalty advantage. All the action. Right here on Marawa Sports Worldwide. They have to scramble. Hashtag MSW with Marawa on 947. Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Sowetan Live. Right, so Sam Whitelock insisted, though, that he still sees himself as just a country kid after setting a brand new record on Friday for the most camp player in New Zealand history during the 96 17 demolition of Italy. That game being played in Leon. Now, the second rower came off the replacement bench in the 49th minute to earn his 149th all black cap. Surpassing former captain Richie McCaw's record of 148 caps. Uh, it hasn't sunk in yet, and like, I don't think it ever will. Um, I still find it weird walking down the street and people want to stop and have a yarn about rugby and this and that, or you know, talk about different games. Because um, I just still see myself as the, the country kid that you know just love love the game of rugby, and um, it's that's why I always said. And um, oh, my lovely family would tell me if I was getting ahead of myself too, so it probably keeps me pretty well grand, grounded. Yeah, I saw Richie uh, yesterday. Uh, had a good yarn. A good catch up, and um, I think he was here tonight. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll have a good catch up later on. Also, Aaron Smith has scored a first half hat trick in the game. While well, there were two tries apiece for winger, well, Jordan captain Adi Sevier and replacement hooker Dean Coles. We had two weeks to prepare for a game, and um, we've got another tough challenge coming up. And we've just got to take it one step at a time, one day at a time, and uh, we can't get ahead of ourselves. And like I said, just excited to be in the All Blacks, be at a World Cup and we're, we're, we've got a good mix at the moment, a balance of working hard and connecting and um, you know just yeah, enjoying the moment and uh, it was good to finally get out there at a World Cup and having a week off was a bit weird but um, showed tonight that the energy and freshness and intent was there and uh, we've got another week together to be better. All right, uh, Australia, Australia. Well, they did just enough to keep the minuscule World Cup hopes alive with an unconvincing but hard-fought 34-14 bonus point win over the lively Portugal team in their final Pool C game yesterday. Here's their coach, Eddie Jones. Oh, well, we only had one objective this week, and that was to be alive, and we're still alive. Um, I'm not interested in conjecturing about Portugal and Fiji next week. You know, uh, as I said, we had one objective and we've achieved that. So you know, I'm pleased for the players. They've worked really hard as they have all tour, all tournament, and and they deserve some accolades for their performance today. You know, let's uh, check out what's happening in the boxing fraternity. Floyd Mayweather Jr., who went undefeated in his boxing career with 50 wins, uh, 27 knockouts, and 15 major world title championships, well, interrupted the press conference of protege Kumel Morton which took place at the Canelo Alvarez's super middleweight victory over Jamel Charlo. To make clear, who is the greatest of all time? So my, my first question to you is, uh, how does, you're backed by one of the, arguably one of the greatest of all time, right? What, 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 what are we rating myself on? What are we rating on? Okay. The, uh, well, well, we want to know, in the least amount of fights, you know, I didn't have to have 70 fights or 150 fights, 300 fights. D- did, I, did I not beat the most world champions? Yes, you did. Okay. And in the least amount of fights? Yes, she did. Who got the highest gate? Floyd Mayweather. Who made the most money? You did. Who, who was the most accurate fighter of all time? You were. <laughs> it can only be Floyd Mayweather Jr., man. It can only be. You know, you get weird things that happen as well. Listen to this. Good evening, Robert. A good defense for Mama Popo. Mazola Bimp. Ask his me, bro. Look at you. God dear, Baba. My chingies. Hey, the dance, the dance, dance. Ice back, Baba. Oh, Sean Bartlett. Bye-bye, my friend. Also, Robert, have you tested Kaiser Chiefs for title chips? Oh, Baba. Say a color, say a tafoon, say a color, say a tafoon. Have a good week. I don't even think those were for real, man. Kaiser Chiefs potato chips.
Talking about Kaiser Chiefs and chips. They're not going to be chewing on anything of that nature, believe you me, because uh, at the PSL DC, well, they said earlier today regarding the misconduct uh, from the fans that came through. Uh, PSL DC prosecutor Zalaba Javu is going to be giving us a breakdown of the outcome of that uh, PSL DC. So stand by for that. But all I can tell you is that whether you like him or you loathe him, there is no denying that this man and his team will forever remain a monumental part of South African football history. Jama Cosmos are now campaigning in the ABC Matsipa League Gauteng stream following the relegation uh, from the Matsipa Foundation Championship uh, back in the 2021-22 season. And no matter how low they go, Jomo Sano has come out to say no ways will he spend millions to buy a top flight status. Well, they've recently signed a two-year sponsorship deal with Jobe Foundation, a non-profit organization based in Duduza, Ekuruleni. We'll be chatting to the man who's our guest here tonight. Uh, so any questions or comments, feel free. Do send us your WhatsApp voice notes. Otherwise, do join the conversation live on air. 11 Good evening, Dr. Jomo Son. Welcome to the show. Good evening, Robert. How are you? I should be asking you. How are you? Very, very good and happy. Very good and very happy. Yeah, and healthy as well. I can see that. You're glowing. Yeah, I'm glowing. I'm glowing. You're glowing? Yeah. Have you got a new sponsor? Yes. I'm glowing. I'm glowing. I'm glowing. I'm glowing. I mean, we, we might talk about life in the lower division. We'll get to the sponsorship in a second because that is part of the good news of why mm. we brought you here. You've been very quiet. You've been very, very quiet. Has that been deliberate? Yeah, it was. Definitely it was. Why? I, I was preparing a team. You know, uh, right. So I was preparing a team and I was also been busy with business. And uh, because, you know, when you're in the third division, you've got so much time, mm. spare time. And uh, I had to focus on other businesses. And uh, I've been traveling a lot. I just came back from Malaysia. I just came, went to Serbia. So I've been traveling a lot. So, And it's been good. Yeah, It's been very, very good. Now, I had to do all those businesses. And then now, to focus on the team. Because my life is football. Yeah. Whether I'm in the 10th division or the 14th division, I'll always be there because that's my life. But, but you're not comfortable where you are, are you? <clears throat> Robert, I think, to, to, to be honest, you know, uh, I believe that going down mm. to that division was, was for a reason. You know, maybe God wanted me to go down. Why, though? What I see, what I've seen in the first year I've been there, yeah. you know, uh, has opened my eyes about football. That football is not only about money. You know, some of the talented young kids I've seen there, uh, I would never had a chance to see them when I'm in the second division. Mm or in the Premier League, because you're focusing on staying up, staying up, you know, week in, week out. You're worried about staying up, staying up, and uh, also trying to get supplies of funds to, to, to pay salaries, because, as you know, in the second division that time, the, the grant was only five, and uh, mm -hmm. you find that some of us, our salaries is about 700,000 plus transport plus paying for the stadiums, paying for the security. So it was it was a bit difficult. You know, now I'm more relaxed, more focused, and I see so many, so many good young players down there. And uh, this is what I like the most. So you're still athlete. scouting? You're still, you're still selling players when you say you the, go the, to Malaysia? The, the only time I, I, I will stop scouting yeah. is when God takes away my eyesight. Because that's, that's the only thing I have that makes me to go out and scout my eyes. But and the talent mm. which God has given me. And uh, he's the only one who can take it away from me. Nobody else. But you're still selling actively? I mean, we, oh, yeah, we, yeah. When you talk about going to Malaysia and you're going to Serbia, is that in part 
selling some it, of the tenants. Not really. Not it, really. it was uh, mainly business. Yeah. You know, it was mainly business. Um, as you know, that uh, the system in the in the third division is crap. Mm. You know, uh, because you can unearth a very 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 good player mm. at the end of the season. It's free. You spend money, time, hours on grooming that kid for the whole year. Come end of the year, free. He's gone. Hmm. There's no protection when you are there. Yeah. You know, because back to the contract, I was in one year and then that's it. So it, it, it's a bit dicey. So, but what you do, you make your players to sign contracts with your company. Hmm. And then you're protected because they belong to a company. So in this case, Jomo Cosmos, as an entity, yeah, as a company, yes, is, is that the operating company that yes. you have? Yes, yes, sir. So you make what profit the, from uh, football right now? Just generally, for now, yeah, there, there are no profits. Nothing. No, for for now, there are no profits in football. So you're not you're not yeah. earning anything out of football. So football's no. doing nothing for you financially. No, 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 nothing for now. So this spiritually, is it does a lot for me. Yeah, because I'm happy. I'm happy just sitting and scouting and uh, looking at. I mean, every weekend, Sunday morning, I'm watching kids. Yeah, under 15, 16, and you know, I drive around. They can tell you most mm -hmm. of the amateur team. I just sit there all day, and then I see one or two kids, and then I go and talk to the kid, talk to the parents, talk to the club. Do you miss anything about being in the Premiership? Yeah, the, the the competition, you know, the, there's bed lama, you know. Uh, I think those are the things I miss. Yeah. Mm. And you don't have a voice there in the third division, you know. But when you are there, you have a voice because when you open your mouth, you're news. Mm. They want to listen to what you want to say. In the premiership? Yeah. <laughs> So if, if, if you were still in the premiership and, for example, I mean, you, you love growth of football. You love to see participation in CAF and you got the Super League that started recently. Mm. Sundowns are in it. Board of Governors have a meeting. They take a decision that maybe it might not be the right thing to do for the league. Yes, no official statements come through from them, but that's what's being reported. Would you have been one of those to vote against Sundowns participating in the Super League, for example? I wouldn't vote against anything that is bringing progress in football. I wouldn't vote against it. I think you can definitely rest assured my vote would not be counted. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you can... I've read reports that the, the fixture has been done and blah, blah, but you can always... It has happened before where the fixture was changed yes. because a certain team has qualified for this and this and this, mm -hmm. and then we change fixtures or we go all the way and we do uh, the bubble, mm -hmm. you know, we ended up having a bubble mm -hmm. during the off season. It can be done. It's nothing impossible in football. You can change the fixtures. They, and talk to Sundowns, they must just sit down and talk to each other and find a way, a solution. Mm -hmm. So let Sundowns go and, uh, and compete. I'm saying to you, if it was a, for argument, if it was John Committee's Spurs being chosen, mm -hmm. City, yeah. C Cape Town City, what would have happened? Oh, City would play. <laughs> John Committees doesn't mess around. Yeah. But to come back from the break, we find out what the Jobby Foundation is all about and what the sponsorship, what's the alignment that they do have with Jama Cosmos and so much more. Jama Sono, my guest here tonight. Imagine a tournament being the envy of the world. A festival of rugby. More than just participation, celebration. We are ready to witness something unforgettable. The 2023 World Cup Rugby Tournament with Robert Marawa. Hashtag MSW. In 2019, the Springboks took on the world in Japan and won. Even when home was far away, FNB made sure that support was close at hand by showing the team your good luck messages. 
in 2023, we're doing it all again. The Box needs you. Send them the inspiration they need. WhatsApp your messages to 061-522-6553 and we'll make sure The Box receive them in France. FNB, proud sponsor of the Springboks. T's and C's apply. FNB is a division of First Rand Bank Limited. Hello. Hi. I urgently need business funding to... Press 1 to speak to an English robot. Uh, okay. Sorry, our English robots are busy. Press 2 to speak to a Zulu robot. Uh, how do I speak to a human? Invalid request. Goodbye. When it comes to your business, nothing beats real help from real humans. Open a Lula Business Bank account and bank with humans, not robots. Visit lula.co.za and make cash flow. Powered by Access Bank. Looking for the finest betting experience? Look no further. Lotto Star has got you. Bet on our amazing array of games such as instant lotteries, quick games, real rush games, arcade games, scratch cards, live games, and the real jackpot race. We bring you the ultimate experience where you could win mind-blowing payouts of up to 155 million rand. Lotto Star, your world of live games. Lotto Star is licensed by the Mpumalanga Economic Regulator. No under 18s. National Responsible Gambling Program. 0800 006 Supply. All games are fixed on betting events. Residents, this is Councillor Selodada Morero, MMC for Finance. Do you know when you pay for your municipal bills on time, you are investing in a better Johannesburg. Your payments help improve our roads, enhance waste management, access to clean water, electricity, and other vital services. Avoid being cut off by visiting your nearest customer service center or visit our online platform on www.e-jowork.co.za. Your web, a world-class African city. Take the leap and get the new iPhone 15 256 gig with Dynamic Island, color-infused glass, aluminium design, and a 48-megapixel main camera. Now available at MTN. It's yours for only 949 per month on a 36-month MTN Mega Gigs or Mega Talk S plan. Stocks are limited, so don't wait. Skip to the good stuff at an MTN store or mtn.co.za now. T's and C's apply. What are we doing today? MTN. Sports Nation is bringing the spirit of Africa to France with thousands of other South Africans. Book the Rugby World Cup 2023 quarterfinals travel package 10 in Paris, which includes two quarterfinal matches, accommodation, and match day transfers. Travel between the 13th and the 17th of October. Visit sportsnation-travel.co.za or email info at sportsnation.co.za. Sports Nation is an official travel agent for Rugby World Cup 2023. Marawa Sports Worldwide. There is no South African football history without the name Jamasono, period. I think the one thing that maybe people still talk about, and you know this very well, is that delegating duties to somebody on a full-time basis to, to allow them to coach. I owe myself, I owe my family, and I owe my supporters that I must take this team back. And with the experience of God, I will. But do you have the time, though? Yes, now I have the time. Don't you feel it, it's necessary for you to take a back seat? When the time is right, John Sonner will decide. Robert Marawa or anybody else will decide. I will decide. Yeah. Well, because when I started, I was the one who decided. I think we should close the subject because I've answered it so many times. When the time is right, John Mosson will decide. It's my house! Marawa Sports Worldwide. Monday to Friday weekdays. Not your ordinary Monday. It's Reaction Monday. Hashtag MSW. Say Hi Rob, this is Elu from Rodipot. Rob, uh, I would just like to greet uh, the legend himself, Dr. Sono, in your studio. It's been a while since we heard his voice and I'm glad that he's still healthy and glowing and alive and kicking. Uh, I want to take an advantage to ask him uh, a question and I hope I'm going to get a different and interesting question because as an owner and a coach, um, if you are still uh, playing in the DSTV Premiership, how would he stop Sundown's dominance? Uh, because um, I'm asking this question because he had a view that sundowns might wrap up uh the league already in the first half of the season and uh which is a bit unfortunate because honestly our league is becoming a bit predictable it's becoming a bit boring because we know when teams play against sundowns how the result might end up so as a coach and also as a owner if he was playing his trade again uh in dstv premiership how would he stop sundowns thank you rob 
Basically, how would you stop the juggernaut that's uh, broken an 18-year record of 32 games unbeaten and a man who is the son of your brother, Julius K.K. Son, who is now coaching Sundowns? Now, that is the conundrum. You know, to be honest, Rob, I've been watching some of the games and I think some of the teams during the week. You know, Bangena and Jeseba in La Chelle, you would be a short cut down in 90 minutes. Yeah. You know, uh, and it becomes worse once you send down to Akora Kal. Once Akora Kal, I caught on a balance, maybe six or seven, but as a connect round in Lababanya. Gone. Yeah, and then they go back and defend. They want to stop the onslaught, Legoti, Singakai, Togakulu. But if you look at the sundowns in general, yeah. Uh, to be honest, they've they've got the best players, but I think if you put pressure on that defense, because it defense here will nah you got that strong that defense, mm. but that defense is it from right back, left back, and midfield we are Pambi. They are very good, yeah. they, and they don't give you the ball; they keep it so that when a Konu exposer, you know you can go. Back to the Al Hali game. They put so much pressure on Sundowns. They ended up knocking the Sundowns out. They were putting pressure on him. So most teams, they sit back and these guys can play. Yeah. Make no mistake. They can they can pass the ball. They can play. Uh, I mean, I, I was one of their magicians. The, the guy they brought from uh, whether Colombia or whatever, it's unbelievable. I mean, the, that whole team... Now my fullbacks are because they play a lot with fullbacks joining in. They they are good. But I think if you can put pressure like Al Hali did, yeah. you have a chance. If, if Pirates did that uh, like him they did that second half. They they you know they started attacking them, attacking them. And there, there were a lot of flaws and holes, yeah. La Pimfa. But like I said, most teams they go there already, several little passengers. I see. So Vimbabani, so Vimbabani. Yeah. When you play a team like that, you don't have to plan for the whole team. But why is the gap so big, though? Why is the gap between Sundowns and the rest so big? Yeah, like I said, Robert, they've got they've got a cream of best players. To be honest, you yeah. know, those guys can play. Make no mistake, those guys can definitely play. But it's also scouting. I mean, if you go and you yeah. fetch a guy like Kuralani from Cape Town City. That nobody would have taken, given yeah. his age. And but Sundowns, they, they take people like that. They bring them on board and they play a, a, a role either with the domestic caps or mm. play Cav Champions League. But they find a way of making sure that the load is even. Yeah, like uh, as I said to you, you know, they they are a balanced team. Yeah, but I'm still not convinced. Uh, I repeat again, still not convinced after seeing them play against the, the Al Hali because yeah. Al Hali were pushing them at the back there. They put pressure on them. And uh, they 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 pressurized them a lot. So I think here also, I mean let us be 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 honest, when they beat Chiefs recently, recently, mm. I thought Chiefs played well. Mm. I thought they played very, very well. It's just unfortunate that uh, the first goal came, you know, and you, you consider a goal like that against Sundowns that early, you dead, you finish. Mm. You know, you don't concede something like that. Uh, and after that, it was one-way traffic, but they came back. You know, Pirates have signed some very, very, very good players, mm. uh, but not in the class of Sundowns. Uh, Chiefs have signed very, very good players, in the class of Sundowns. They've got some class players there. I mean, you look at this guy from the central midfielder. But why are they not getting the results? It, it happens, Rob. It takes time to, to mold the team. The Sundowns, they've been together since last year, two years ago. Yeah. One or two. But that team has been together for some time. So they understand each other. They're running off the ball. With, if you la 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 pa, this one will be there, this one will be there, you know. But if you look again, 
uh, it's sundowns when Shalulile is not there. Mm. They struggle a bit. Why is Shalulile still here? Why is he not playing overseas? Uh, maybe the boy feels that uh, the money he's earning here will be the same as the money he's earning overseas. I don't know. But we, for me, he's the best marksman in the country for now. You talk about Kaiser Chiefs. They've got a guy called Castillo. He's a good player. He's a good player. Top. He's top. Top of the range. Yeah. And he's going to be worse now when he's got this uh, Mtetwa in midfield. They'll be strong. You know, I said it last week that they, they, they can be maybe the dark horses that can mm-hmm. challenge for the league. It all depends how the coach puts his team. But if you have Mtetwa and uh, Castillo in midfield, all those who are skillful, you let them go. Don't worry about saying to them, come back and defend. Let them go up front there. But that Castillo is class. He's, he's a box-to-box player. Mtetwa is a box-to-box mm-hmm. player. So they've got... And I think they've they've organized their defense very well with the uh, the, the right back. Uh, what's his name? The right back. We are one of the We are one of the Premier League. I'm What's well, the name of the right back? I look good. They got Frostler. 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 Yeah. Good player. Frostler. And, and then Udove who Udove. came in. And the, that well, defense is strong. Yeah. Yeah. Strong. Yeah. Well, see, he's got the ability strong. not only to defend. So I think Dover one is going forward. Both fullbacks can go forward. And that's why when he was able to header that yeah. ball in, yeah. it, it wasn't a mistake. So he got something like probably 27 in Yan now, 17 minutes, 27 minutes against uh, Sikukun mm. coming in. Yeah. First game that he played mm. in Tet. So you believe that next nice game, you, 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 you like him. He's a good player. Yeah. yeah. So you would want to see him start. Ah, uh-uh. I can't tell kids that you what to do. No, no, no. Your observation. Say, 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 all I'm saying is that the, the, if you, the, the combination there yeah. will be unbelievable in midfield. Yeah. yeah. Same as Pirates. I mean, the boy they signed from Marisbeck. He's class, Robert. Yeah. He's a good player. But as you know, sometimes I'm a foreigner. They take time to adjust in, the, in, in, in South Africa. But to Castillo, Lord, he didn't even take time. He just fitted in like... Uh, you know. He looks like he's been there all the time. Ah, he's a good player. He looks like he's been there. All he's right. good player. We, we're taking your questions, your WhatsApp voice notes. We're also taking uh, comments that are coming through. We are live on the YouTube channel, by the way. Uh, I see a whole stack of questions already there. Mystic Man says, hi, Rob. Brajay, congratulations to Cosmos for the sponsor. We hope Cosmos come back to where it is supposed to be. Untate Tsotetsi says, can we please have a two-hour interview with Dr. Jamosono on MSW, the YouTube channel, with no limits in terms of time? I'm sure he'll agree with that. We'll go on the YouTube channel soon. We start, we go. There's no time. There's nothing. We go straight. We'll, we'll discuss that off air. Um, Lindo says, Brajay, what's your take about the referees? Poor officiating. Teko Malangeni says, legend. Ngogwayo uh, says, great to listen to this conversation. Congratulations on getting a sponsor. Uh, Mystic Man, just two questions to Brajay. How long does he think it will take Cosmos to get back to the PSL? What is his plan to get there? And says, secondly, does he regret selling the cream of the players that the team had because is what led to the downfall of Cosmos? So just very quickly on those ones. Mm. Um, in fact, let me couple it with this question. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Marawa and Mr. Mjomane, Dr. Sono. I, I read some of the articles that he doesn't support this thing of buying and selling the status. Is it true that he doesn't support it or what? But uh, to my knowledge... When he formed Cosmos, he bought Islands Park. It's Musua from Woodbank. I just need a clarity or an honest answer from Dr. Sono. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, when, I, when, I, when I bought Highlands Park, Highlands Park was, was dying, a slow death. Uh, they were ready to go out of football. And uh, they came to me and they said, do you want a status? Because that time I wanted to, I wanted to take over Paris that time. And uh, I said, yeah. And they said to me, we, they owe something like 50000 somewhere. Mm. So if I can give them 50000 to pay off that debt, then I can take the team. So I would not have bought it. 
but it was a takeaway. Come on, there's no team worth 50,000. Even that, that division, you can't get a team for 50,000 now. So I had to do it. Mm. But mm. I still repeat, it's up to individual people. It's up to how deep your pocket is, n- number one. Uh, number two is believing in your own talent because who says there's a guarantee that if you buy a status now for 10 million who says you'll be you'll be around next season mm-hmm. that status you can get relegated and 10 million is is down the drain uh, and then you start regretting to say if i put that 10 million plus add-ons at the bank at six percent i'll still be having good mm-hmm. money so there's no guarantees but some people are very successful at it. You look at Galaxy, Team Sukazi, mm-hmm. it's very, very successful. Mm-hmm. Uh, David has started winning. So it's up to individual. David Tidiel. Yeah, he won one. He won a game yesterday. So they start to win, which, which is good. But is it good for him to have been relegated last season? And instead of going down the way you've gone down, they went and buy another status so that they can remain in that division. And they've been bottom of the table, like you say. Only up until now, they won a game and they're sitting in 13th position. Yeah, maybe, like I said, Robert, it's up to individuals how they look at football. Yeah. I believe I can I can bring back this team, you know. When, uh, when, when is the question? Two years. Because two years. It's, your second, two years. it's your second season now in yeah. the third tier. You said first one three. to observe. If you remember, I said yeah. three years. Correct. So mm. you second now? Yeah. So the third year, which is next season, yeah. would be the year that you come back. Yeah, why not come back now? I mean, you've smelled what it's like to be joined second. No, you, you, you know, first year I was learning. Yeah, you know, uh, I was just learning the ropes there, and uh, to my surprise, we ended up second position with Pele Pele. I was surprised myself because looking at the players I have, they're very, very young. And I said to myself, let me groom these kids for one year mm-hmm. and then we can start challenging this year. But they surprised me. They ended up second position. You know, he, he, due to experience, I think they could have ended up uh, first position, but they were too inexperienced. Mm. But I think now, having spent a year there, I think they, they're experienced enough now. I mean, we started our first game yesterday, which we played one of the... They're the very good teams mm. in the in the league. We won our first game one nil. I don't say in football you win, you draw, you lose. Mm. You know, so we we started very well on a high note, and especially with the having an incentive from Jobe Foundation, yeah. it, it pushed the players. And on top of that, uh, <laughs> the stadium was full. You know, the stadium was full. I was surprised that we could have such a big crowd and it was not properly advertised. So I think we have a, we have a home. Uh, I just hope that if, we, when I, if and when I get promoted, I won't be told that the events are equal, right? Or because if you, if you look at the history of Cosmos. Mm-hmm. Every time we get promoted, if we if we playing at a certain stadium, we, we are being kicked out. We we got first year we got promoted at Tembisa. We're told we can't play here uh, at, at Tembisa. We we started running around looking mm-hmm. for grounds, mm-hmm. and but the following year at Tembisa on getting Highlands Park. Highlands Park was playing. There were no problem. We went to the Val. We got promoted to the Val. Immediately when we applied at the league, Bastilla Water, we can't play there, Akoma Tensta. Now we had to go again, run around looking for, we ended up playing in Kiane. Sure. You know, so. But you do this okay so far? It all depends, you know, if you Professor Schloss, you use that upper, I bone right. <laughs> we don't know. Good depending on I appeal, I need to Professor Wuzo, such a bone. So as I was, Uzo Bona and Yen. Because we will decide I. So if a uh, professor at the I'll call my toilet paper, I which was sent for me, Funanyo, Nbuele, Kiane, Vendang, Hambing, Zula. So, but I think there, mm. the, the, the community and the municipality will, will, will support us there. 
because the, I think for now the stadium is okay for where we are and the stadium can also, if by God's grace we get promoted, can also accommodate the second division. He's been doing magical stuff behind the scenes. When we come back from the break, we'll talk about, uh, you know, playmakers. Eh? You know playmakers? Playmakers is what he's involved in. We'll talk about the Jobe Foundation as well. Uh, find out what that is all about because, you know what, FIFA's approved this, uh, playmakers especially, and that for me is a first. Back on your radio by popular demand. It's the infamous Room Dividers with Robert Marawa, Tando Manana and Ashwin Willemsen. Tuesdays on hashtag MSW947. Vuma FM, Rise FM and Soweto Live. In 2019, the Springboks took on the world in Japan and won. Even when home was far away, FNB made sure that support was close at hand by showing the team your good luck messages. In 2023, we're doing it all again. The box needs you. Send them the inspiration they need. WhatsApp your messages to 061-522-6553 and we'll make sure the box receive them in France. FNB, proud sponsor of the Spring Box. T's and C's apply. FNB is a division of First Rand Bank Limited. Before you sell your car, be really sure. Before they make you not be really sure. Before you take a blow because you had to sell too low. Before you sell your car, be really sure. Make sure you get the best deal when selling your car. Go to willy.co.za. SA's most trusted place to get a second offer. Enjoy the ultimate entertainment with Hollywood Bets' 25 Rand and 50 free spin sign up bonus. Play games like Hot Hot Hollywood Bets and more. Sign up today and take a spin with Hollywood Bets. T's and C's apply. Hollywood Sportsbook is a licensed betting operator. Hollywood Bets supports responsible gambling. No persons under the age of 18 years are permitted to gamble. Winners know when to stop. South African Responsible Gambling Foundation toll free counseling line 0800 006 008 or WhatsApp help to 076 675 0710. Hi, me again. If you know what this ridiculously short 30 second ad is for, you'll probably know what I hate most about it. Yes, it's the legal line. Pineapple AFSP 48650 is underwritten by Old Mutual Insurer or Licensed AFSP and Non-Life Insurer. T's and C's apply. I mean, who cares? Have you ever heard anyone say, wow, did you hear that pineapple ad? Go to pineapple.co.za for 100% insurance, 0% other stuff with all those super interesting, invaluable T's and C's. Well, I haven't. I've also never heard a complete ad where we... What's better than watching the Springboks take on the world's best at the 2023 Rugby World Cup? How about upgrading your setup so that you can experience the game like you're in the stands? With Rentoza, you can subscribe to a TV that can stand up to the action with easy monthly payments and the ability to upgrade or change when it suits you. And if you subscribe to a TV during the World Cup, you can make it to the stands for real by winning tickets to the Cape Town Rugby Sevens in December. Check out rentoza.co.za for more info. Commitment is messy. Just Rentoza it. T's and C's apply. At the Courier Guy, we're the world champs at handling packages. You know, when you've got people named Paul Durant, Sonny Weibel Williams, and Jean de Vliveries in your team, it's easy, man. So, whether you need to send it to France, Hello? or France, Hello? go with the people who never faff around. Visit the courierguy.co.za today and let us move it through the hands. The Courier Guy, the courier behind the box. Previously on Marawa Sports Worldwide. I think heart-related deaths are certainly the saddest ways to have a player's promising or thriving careers cut short. But 15 years ago, my legend who sits here very proudly, strong, looking as if he's about to run onto the field. Hey, 15 years ago, he had his experience with heart issues. Lucas Kadebe. Actually, you're talking like this, though. I've just come back from, from the cardiologist. Before you came <laughs> Before in? Before I came in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? They put you on the treadmill? <laughs> treadmill? Okay. Yeah, and you ran? ECG. You ran how many minutes? That, uh, 10, 12 minutes, 15? 15 minutes on the treadmill. Glad, you know, that, uh, you know, we're still alive. Hashtag MSW. Hashtag MSW. Not your ordinary Monday. It's Reaction Monday. Hashtag MSW. Say goodbye to the weekend here on Monday. Hi, Rob. Uh, 
and uh, that are nice so no in the studio. Uh, you've got a man that I respect so much. My prayer is that one day Jomo Cosmos comes back so we can see Tatana Sono celebrating using the feast. All the best, Tatana Sono. Petros from Pretoria. Good evening, good evening, Darop. We are talking to the South African football prince, the prince of South African football, Dr. Jomo Sono. All I want to say is that thank you, Mr. Sono, for everything that you've done for our football. It's a pity only our administration and the South African Football Association or care for that matter. In fact, you deserve to be FIFA member. Thank you. Good evening, uh, Mr. Marawa, and good evening to Ubaba We Polale, Tuba, Bucho Moso, Ninkos, Kuluman Esbong, Elenogamkwan. My question to Ubaba Chomosono, let me start here. Before we used to have uh, Abo Hellenic, Abo African Wanderers, Mtata Parks, Manning Rangers, who they got relegated and never came back. Does that uh, not scare Ubaba Chomosono? Hey, this is the time for Ichomokosmos because he got relegated with the STV Premiership and then in the second division also he got relegated. Is it the end of Jomo Cosmos or we will see him bouncing back to the top flight football? Will he bounce back to top flight football? Lots of your reaction. It is a Monday. It's Reaction Monday. And that uh, Jomo Son, uh, the doc is here in studio. I think a mixed bag there of voice notes. Some obviously saying that you deserve to be a FIFA member. They're saying you wish to come back to the PSL. But that last one saying like the Santoses and everybody else that disappeared after being in the third tier of football, is at the end of Jomo Cosmos. He signed to Sibenga and Jomo Son. Straight, simple. He won to Sibenga and Jomo Son. He no Jomo Son. We got relegated three times. I brought it back three times. I'm not going to now. Yeah. And I, I still repeat, I'm not going to now. I'm passionate about it. I'm not going to be able to do it. Game is not about money. Yeah. It's about adding value to these kids. And how many millionaires have I made who came from Cosmos? You can count the millionaires. As to what they did with the money after is not my problem. But we made millionaires. Abu Subaya, the other day, he called me and says, if, if it wasn't for you, I would be living in a house like this. I was very shocked, you know, mm-hmm. uh, from the blue. I will mark fish to a millionaire. Okatongo, Masinga, Kleko. We made millionaires out of this team. Not, and uh, by... We, 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 we made them also, and we also taught them to start businesses so that Sikonu employer Abantu. And they did that, some of them, but in, in life, unlike me, me, I can fail seven times, but I'll rise eight times. I can fail 10 times, I will rise 11 times. That's my attitude about life. Failure is the next door neighbor to success, Robert. Mm. Those are neighbors. They go hand in hand. It doesn't mean that when one door closes, you must just pack and go. All the doors are closed. It's not mm-hmm. possible. I've been knocking on the door. You just mentioned player make. I've been knocking on the door. Clubs here in South Africa. The doors were locked. We closed. With steel as well. And then what happened? I mean, explaining playmaker, um, before we go to Ndata is that Technology. I mean, you played at a time when none of this was around, but you were wise enough to get the learnership in terms of what it means, playmaker. Mm-hmm. Yes, now the guys play with that bra-like gadget at the back, covers how many kilometers they've run, covers all sorts of things. What made playmaker what it is and what made it to get a nod from FIFA? Robert, playmaker is, is different. Yeah, It's not about how many kilometers you're running. It's about football. What happens for 90 minutes? Mm-hmm. What happens for the duration of your training? Because it starts from there. And it also involves 
the fathers and the mothers and, you, you know, and the brothers and the sisters because once the boy trains with Playmaker, when he gets home at night, you take off the chip and then put it in the computer and see what the boy was doing, mm. how many passes he made with the right, with the left, how many times he lost the ball in the box, how many times he got into the ball. You know, it's all, Playmaker is about football. Yeah, It's about developing a player from youth and also helping a professional player because sometimes we as coaches mm -hmm. who, who, who generally play I would take not I don't get any boxing the only time of don't get any boxing is when you're in possession of the ball that's when I see you in the box which is a sickness of course yeah of uh, Africa and then the player will say I say so what you do, you say, okay. So total cheap in your father. Yeah. As county again to talk to get again a box. I said, go kill me. I cook on a cheap. And then he makes balls a cheap. It's gonna help the coaches to be able to direct the players a lot. But why was it rejected here in the country? And how come FIFA then saw your vision and mm. welcomed it? No, here I didn't I tried to present it to it's announced. I did present it to Sundowns. Yeah. Uh, Uzwane, they were using it. And they, they were very, very... In Shalulile at some in point. In Shalulile. Yeah. And they were very impressed. They wanted it. Rulani, to be honest, wanted yeah. it. Uh, and they wanted it so bad. Mm. But Guafiga, uh, a technical director, and La Pago Sundowns, and unfortunately, they, they went for that thing. Yeah, yeah. They had already done a deal, okay. so fortunately enough, three weeks later, FIFA approved it for the whole world, wow. for the whole world. That's including <laughs> South Africa. Thank you. Yay. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, uh, you know, Robert, uh, that, that was the happiest moment of my life because I was not... Mm -hmm. it, 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 it was difficult, like I had to knock at the doors and say, have a look at this, have a look at this. And what surprised me was the negativity around the teams. But I, I understand. Mm -hmm. I understand. I think you, you know the politics I, I of this game. I've been I, here I, yeah, for yeah, way you know. too long. Yeah. So. Okay. L let me bring in Undate Silo here as the head of projects at the Jobe Foundation. Uh, because uh, I see time is not with us, it's yeah. always against us. But, but thank you so much for coming through. Our um, pleasure, our pleasure. <laughs> in in communication with Dr. Sono, he said, you know what? He hates to explain these things. He gets into business deals, but he hates to explain. Yeah. Please make us laymen understand this getting together with Jomo Cosmos. Yeah. Look, um, as the foundation from Duduza, very proud to be associated with uh, with a giant like, uh, like Dr. Sono. Uh, the history between himself and our president, Freddy Stolle, goes back years. Um, many would know that um, his passion is philanthropy. Uh, the passion of our founder is philanthropy. So, so their relationship was really about uplif upliftment um, within the soccer space. So they take young mm -hmm. boys, bring them to the stadium, but look beyond soccer and, and, and build from there. But um, over time, the passion for soccer grew within the team. Uh, Mr. Sitwale wanted to formalize this thing, brought uh, 13 like-minded guys. So we are a group of 13 guys from Duduza with a passion for soccer, but passion for philanthropy. So we 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 have four pillars in our, in our, in our organization. We focus on schools, education. Mm -hmm. We focus on social ills within our township and neighboring townships, uh, sports, and arts, sports and arts and culture. But they have a very particular love for soccer. Yeah. Um, the, the, our president and our CEO, uh, Debu, who's with us here, Debu Mudupi, uh, had a platform called It Is Kinai Nine, which is a platform that brings tournaments in, mm -hmm. in, in townships uh, over the holiday seasons. And over time, we thought, um, um, uh, who do we partner with? Mm -hmm. who, who, who has a developmental heart? And I must say, we've been lucky. Uh, uh, that we're able to formalize this 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 big uh, partnership for us. We are excited. This past Sunday we had a game, uh, first game in our partnership. We won mm. the game with fans <laughs> at the stadium. 
as Dr. And, Swan and let me tell you, no family. advertising. Yeah. So we're still formalizing our stuff. No advertising, but the stadium was full. So for uh, the next two years, Duduza Stadium will be the Cosmos home yes, game. Yes, yes. Home yes. games at that stadium yes, full time. Yes, and that is on our, hey, my mama figure about hey, toilet. Basil <laughs> toilet, right? Basil toilet, right? Because that, that, that's what the partnership is about. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But then, uh, I mean, with, with any partnership, I'm sure even at the press conference, people will say, what is the monetary value? Uh, we can't disclose now. Uh, the key thing is, is, is it starts from development. Mm -hmm. He's, we believe his strength is, is in eyeing talent, nurturing talent, being, being, being the big dad. So we have a long-term view in terms of development, but also mm. making sure that the current team uh, returns the glory days. It's back in the Premier League uh, pretty soon. Uh, lots of plans, lots of uh, uh, collaboration happening behind the scenes. Yeah. But we're not coming here for the, for the last time. So we will announce as we go along where we are and okay. what the progress is and, and what we are achieving. And in front of Jersey sponsor, is that part and parcel of it or not? It's part of passport, yeah. It, it is. is definitely. So if it's two years and then he says that next season he will come back to the top division, then you would have lost out because then you're not gonna be able to see you on television. But with the Jobber for Foundation. Us, you see you see the foundation has got two two divisions. We've got a Jobber yeah. brands, yes. which produces products. It's a commercial business. We've got the foundation. Right. The foundation is sponsoring Cosmos. Mm -hmm. We are not there to 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 make capital and commercialize this thing. We are there to partner with a developmental heart, and the partnership is really about that. Mm -hmm. So we're not looking really to to have returns on being on billboards or in a shirt. Yeah, uh, it's the passion for the love of soccer and development. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure when you smile like that, whether <laughs> you're in agreement with <laughs> Silo. Um, okay, I'm going to ask you a question. Where, where's that coming? From? No, you know, uh, you know why I'm why, why I'm laughing. Yeah, because you you spoke about the shirt at the front, and mind you. Is all the visit Lala. You share the line, job a foundation. Yes. Manje, sign your job a into a young call, man. So, so, I'm just thinking, good. Hey, the days is on clay. I was on clay. Come as guys, come on. I was on ah, come on, fucking come as fubin. That's why I was like, man, ah, yeah, yeah. But uh, on a serious note. Uh, uh, I'm very happy. We had uh, for the first time Michet Bay Palo Jovela. Yeah. Yeah, with the signing home. Man, I'm just praying with you. we don't lose the game, Malay and Gomba. We are by trouble. Yes, I want to be for the back. Kabanga is all crazy to find. Man, no, no, I'm saying, but Kabanga is a song. I have a say issue. I'm very happy. Yeah. You beat them at their own game. Yeah, no, no, no. Hey. no, no. No, no. Silo so, Jomasone, guys, listen, um, we need to do this again. Um, I think we'll take up. Uh, what they were suggesting that we take this conversation on YouTube pretty soon uh, because there's so many different facets and aspects of what we want to touch on. But I think for you to come back, for your voice to be I will heard, come we back. appreciate it. I will come back. Yeah. You Please tell do. me because I, I have a lot to talk about. I love football. Yeah. Please uh, do. It How soon? You tell me. Soon, soon. Mm. Soon, soon. We'll bring in more than just Bill Soon Dong and time. very soon. <laughs> we are going, going to, to come back the here. King. <laughs> okay, uh, King. Okay. All right. King Sonner, thank you so much. Okay. Priscilla, thank you very, very much indeed. Thank Catch you, you very again much. tomorrow. Room Dividers tomorrow. Hey, man. I don't even want to tell you who my guest is going to be on Wednesday, but don't miss it. Back on your radio by popular demand. It's the infamous Room Dividers with Robert Marawa, Tando Manana, and Ashwin Willemson. Tuesdays on hashtag MSW947. Fuma FM, Rise FM, and Soweto Live.